today we're headed to Paul's Valley for some barbecue, a toy museum, and the Santa Fe Depot. Let's go! This is the Oklahoma Road Trip. From Arbuckle Mountain Fried Pies, the team heads north to Paul's Valley, a small railroad town with a rich history. Visitors travel from far and wide to stand in awe of our first stop of the day, the world-renowned toy and action figure museum. The museum is curated by Kevin Stark, a local artist whose diverse portfolio even includes designing official toys for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and The Simpsons. The way it got started, a group of citizens got together and they wanted unique tourist attractions in the downtown area. Right. I already had tons of toys. <laughs> I joked with one of the committee members, I said, well, you know, I'm the unofficial tourist attraction, we ought to just make it official. 95% of what you see in here is from my private collection. Take me to your favorite spot in this whole entire place. Well, that would be the Batcave. So this is all about Batman. I feel like you would have to spend a lifetime just collecting this. You could, but why limit yourself? Now we have spooky toys. We have the original 1959 Barbie. Everything from Star Wars and Star Trek to Futurama, Doctor Who. And we've got Pez. And then up above, we've got Supermans and Supergirls and all flying around. Up there, we've got the cereal box collection. And then in here, we recreated World War II. Joe is battling the Nazis. When you go to a natural history museum, for instance, they'll recreate like a caveman fighting a cave bear. This is the adult collector's bedroom diorama. We're not just about toys, we're about your childhood. Those things that you forgot about. People come in here and they're amazed to see what they had as a kid. And I say, well, you either played with it or stepped on it. <laughs> From the Toy and Action Figure Museum, the team makes the short trip to Bob's Pig Shop. This longtime local favorite has been serving up some of the area's best barbecue for nearly 100 years. Hi, how are you doing? It opened in 1933. Bill and Susan are the second owners, and they took over in 1977. I've been there for 40 years. They're like family to me, you know. Everybody here is like family. Oh, it's just a great place. We've got a huge smoker that we smoke all of our meats. Our pig sandwich is what we're famous for. We have people from out of town that come. I meet a lot of new people, which I enjoy. Yeah, it's amazing. That picture right there was taken on opening day, August 5th, 1933, right in the middle of the Great Depression. That's amazing. We got a lot of stuff here. Let me move this camera. We've got more important stuff coming oh through. Goodness. Oh wow, these look so good. Thanks, baby. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Those fries are amazing. So good. The flavor's so good. I got the pig sandwich, is what they're known for, and some ribs, and looks like some beans. So I got here the seasoned fries, which are delicious, and I got myself a house salad. Hey, next time you're in Paul's Valley or anywhere we stop along the road trip, make sure to ask for a free sticker before they run out. And show us your sticker using the hashtag RoadTripOK. Okay. From Bob's Pig Shop, the crew heads east to our final stop of the day. We mentioned that Paul's Valley is home to a rich history, and there's no better keeper of that history than the Santa Fe Depot Museum. This is the Santa Fe Depot. You know, the train would stop, and all of these doors would open. Someone called us and said, Adrian, this man just got a demolition permit. He's going to tear down the depot in three days. The Historical Society and the Chamber worked together to save this from being torn down. I'm standing in the Santa Fe Depot, and this is actually the centerpiece of Paul's Valley downtown. They actually still have an Amtrak going. It comes every morning and every evening. Pretty cool. You will see a little train, and they call it Little Toot. The kids can put, sit on and have their picture made. They can ring a bell, pull a string, and go <laughs> You should come here because we have more than you would ever dream. If you haven't been to Paul's Valley, come. You'll be glad you did and you can tell your friends to come too. Come see all the brick streets and that I think is part of the charm of the small town. Make sure to a lot enough time because there's so much stuff to see and also if you can plan it around one of our big events, set apart some time to really enjoy, enjoy the town like we do. 
On today's road trip, we shared in some of the fun and history that Paul's Valley has to offer. First, we explored the Toy and Action Figure Museum, where Kevin gave us a tour of his collection, decades in the making. The museum contains an absolutely mind-blowing amount of toys, action figures, and other collectibles sure to make anyone feel like a kid again. Next, we made the short trip to Bob's Pig Shop, a staple of Paul's Valley for the last 86 years. The atmosphere was warm and the staff was friendly, and of course, the barbecue was incredible. We highly recommend their pig sandwich and ribs. Finally, we made our way to the Santa Fe Depot Museum, where Adrian told us all about the history of the depot as well as the town itself. This beautifully restored train depot, as well as the surrounding park area, serve as a hub for all kinds of community events, including an outdoor ice skating rink during the winter months. Join us next time on the Oklahoma Road Trip, where we'll take you snow tubing in OKC, eat some ice cream in Edmond, and visit the Rama Lights in Broken Arrow. We'll see you then.